Hi, my name is Zara, and today I'm going to show you guys how I usually do my hair physics. Um, I've looked around a couple times back when I was still learning, and back then there weren't many tutorials on how to do good looking hair physics without skinning. Um, and then I learned my own way, and I also uh, was taught something by a good friend of mine. Um, but yeah, so today I'm just going to show you, I'm not going to do any rigging itself, I just finished it, um, but I thought I would show you guys how I usually do my, my hair rigging. So, the way I usually do it is, I have a hair front X and a hair front Y, and same with side and back. So, how that would work, is I would take these front bangs, right, these front ones over here that are facing towards his right, my left. His right though. I would make these the front, these ones along the left side, since they're going down and around the side, they will be the left, they will be on the side parameter, and everything else at the back will be on the back parameter. So, the way that I usually do things then is I make an X and a Y. And usually, Y, at least in terms of like angles, angle Y is up and down. But when it comes to physics, I make that angle y i just use y to make things easier uh but the y is to and away from the body itself so the angle y in this case is lifting the hair small movements it's just moving it a bit a, a bit closer and away from the face same with the side hair over there and the back hair over there um, now, do note, the, the Y, as I said, small movements, it has to be smaller than the X, otherwise, yeah, that's just, that's just how it works. <laughs> um, then with the front X, this part, the X will be your general movement. So, this is just how it swings. So, also another thing to note, the Y is always negative, the way I do it, at least. The negative is always away from the face, and the positive is closer. So, with the side one, where it's on this side, the negative is away from the face, and the side is closer. But, the X and Y, the X will always be left to right. So, negative is left, positive is right. Um, my left and right, not the characters. And, same with the back. So, negative is away, positive is towards. X is left and right. That's just how I do it. And after you've done that, also the way I do them individually is I have this bang, and since he has a shadow, this bang specifically here has a shadow under these ones. There. So I just use path deformers on each on each one, and I do, but I I do it like this. I select them both at the same time. So I select them both at the same time, then I make the path deformer. And then I just use this path deformer on this to move both of them at once. That way you have uniform motion between the bang and the shadow. If you wanted to, you could move the bang, the shadow and the bang separately, so that when the Y, you know, when it moves away, that the Y kind, the, the, the shadow kind of like, is a bit on its own, like that almost. So you can do that totally. Uh, I just usually don't, but yeah, so you've now got that, once you've rigged it, that's fine. Oh, also, another thing I, I need to note is there's also a little thing I do where I usually have, uh, I account for gravity with the hair on the angle Z. So the way I would do that is where I had my bangs moving for the angles, for the head turns and all that, I would make another deformer on top of it called just the right bang Z in this case, and I would just deform it so a little so that the points kind of move down towards the center of the of the body. And you know, gravity, because Newton, that's why. Was it Newton? I think it was Newton. Whatever. But now, after that. Once you've got the rigging done and all that, you have to you have to set it up in physics. So, I usually have three physics physics groups: front hair, side hair, and back hair. They're basically all the same. I have a custom input that I use for hair, which 
you can just easily make by saying I think you can just I think you can just make a new one and then just say override save or something. I forgot how I how I did how I added the new preset. Uh but yeah, it's somewhere over here. I think save preset should somewhere be over here. Import preset, export preset, that's how. And physics settings. So physics settings preset. That's how you will be able to save these things once you've done it so that you can just use it again in the future or whatever. So the way I have it set up is that angle X and Z are position and angle at the effectiveness of 60, 50. Body X and Z are position and angle at effectiveness 40, 50. And then down here, both there are two pendulums, with both with a duration of 10, shaking intensity of, intensity of 9, reaction of 1, and overall acceleration of 0 0.95. Then when we go to output, we have pendulum 1 and 2 on hair on the hair front X and the hair front Y. That way, when you move it around, this pendulum will be moving this parameter, and this pendulum will be moving this parameter. And then when you move it, it looks something like this. So it looks nice and fluffy. And I've done it with other models before. Like for example, I've done it with uh, one of my previous children, Angso. I did it the most with hers. <coughs> I mostly perfected it with her model uh, because hers is very fluffy and all that, as you can clearly see. So yeah, that's how you get fluffy hair physics without using skinning. Uh, let me just move back to my model. So, uh, with that being done, I don't think there's anything else I can, I can show you guys. Basically, that's, that's how you do very fluffy and realistic looking hair physics. By the way, you can apply this to anything else as well. If I show you how um, I used it multiple on multiple places here on Anxo's model, she has a bunch of, she has a jacket over there and ribbons over there. So what I would do is I had over here, I had clothes X and Y. So the clothes Y would move it towards the body at the negative and away from the body at the positive. So in this case where it's vertical, these would go up and down at a bit of an angle. In this case, I didn't use um, any path deformers. In this case, I used this little tool called the deform brush. So down here, I would just take it here at the edges, move them in like this. And then you once again, most with most tools like this, you can hold B to move it like that. And then you can just do stuff like that, where, you know, you can deform the art mesh directly without needing deformers or anything like that. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, you can have it on clothes and stuff as well, like that. And then the X and Y, left and right, as always. And you sync them up, you synthesize the corners. And there you've got movement. When you go into physics, you go into clothes. And then the clothes over there. As you can see, as you can see, it has, it's got a nice flowy to it, flowiness to it. Also, I did it on the thighs as well. <laughs> uh, the thighs had to be a bit different so that they don't shake to the, to the same amount of stuff. But yeah, she's got thigh jiggle. Uh, both links of the people whose models I've shown will be in the description. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Thanks everybody for tuning in. If this did help you, please do consider dropping a link down below or a like down below. And also make sure you subscribe and ring that bell with notifications on so that you get notified of when I upload another video. Um, if this did help you, uh, do also let me know in the comments down below if you want me to, to give you a more in-depth video on how I do the hair step by step. Uh, it'll be a longer video than this one. This one's already a bit long. It's just over 10 minutes now. Um, but yeah, so... With all that said, make sure you also uh, follow the Discord and join join the Twitter. Yes, I said that right. 
Uh, both links in the description as well. Until next time, I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Ciao for now.